What is the change in the momentum of a car that experiences a force of 9,400 newtons for 10 seconds? Okay, so let's put down our information. We know that we want the change in momentum, that's asked, of a car that experiences a force, okay, so net force, we presume it is 9,400 newtons, okay, for 10 seconds. So that's the change in time, okay, delta T is equal to 10 seconds and I'm sure you can immediately spot that the correct formula is this one okay we have one the change in momentum and that's the only formula that can give it to us okay where we have net force times time so change in momentum yeah, let's go wild to pink okay change in momentum is equal to the net force times a change in time and this gives me 9400 times 10 Okay, and that's quite easy, 9,000, uh, okay, kilogram meters per second, okay, 94,000 kilogram meters per second, that is the change in momentum, so let's go substitute that or enter that answer, there's our formula, okay, our net force is 9,400, our change in time is 10. When we substitute, okay, we're going to type delta um, out to get the delta. So we have the delta P okay, is equal to, and it's equal to 9,400 times 10. Preview, okay, delta P. Uh, sometimes this will change it into a delta, don't worry if it doesn't, if it says syntax okay, you are doing fine, okay, and now they say we should solve it, okay, but we should use the units with respect to the parameters used, parameters, sorry, used in the formula, now that, I made a mistake then with my unit, but those units um, were given in kilogram meters per second, however, we used newtons in seconds, so that's another unit we're allowed to use, is newtons times seconds that is what we can use for change in momentum okay so we are typing in our answer of delta P is equal to 9400 newtons per newton seconds okay preview again it says syntax is okay so I'm using the correct units as well as the delta that's typed out. In the next question we are asked that if the mass of the car is 960 kilograms what is the change in the car's velocity? Okay so now we have all of the information that we had before okay but you'll notice that the formula where we want change in velocity we only need the change in the momentum in other words the impulse uh, and the mass. So the impulse we worked out in the previous question was equal to, let's go have a peek, okay, 94,000, okay, Newton seconds. And the um, mass of the car is now given as 9, 960 kilograms and our formula is a very simple change in momentum is equal to mass times change in velocity. Okay, so substituting in here we get that 9, uh, 94,000 is equal to 96 times what? Times what velocity, okay? So, or change in velocity, so divide both sides with a 960 960 and what do we get? Change in velocity is equal to 94,000 divided by 960 and we get 97,92 meters per second. Okay and you should be fine entering that on your own.